Hi, uh, my name is Siliano Stroblos. I'm a first year uh, PhD candidate at the University of Massachusetts Amherst. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, personal safety and neighborhood differences. So we know that Abraham Maslow and Galton have talked about the importance of personal safety theoretically and how safety is both a fundamental human need and a prerequisite for positive and negative peace. However, despite this extensive theoretical discussion, uh, there hasn't been that much research done on actual perceptions of personal safety. Instead, research has focused on correlates or other variables that are close to safety but not exactly it. So, in an effort to both examine this theoretical evidence and um, see whether objective markers of safety, such as crime rates, match subjective perceptions of safety, I conducted an investigation examining differences um, by neighborhood on personal safety. So as you can see here, um, I recruited participants from Amazon Mechanical Turk. Um, the total number was 634 and most of the participants were white American and approximately half were females. Average age being 36 years old. So to capture safety and to address the gap in the literature where um, most measures have been single item measures, thus being unreliable or less comprehensive. I utilize the newly constructed personal safety scale comprised by three facets. Fear of crime, the feeling of safety, and safety confidence. I also utilize the perceived police legitimacy scale comprised by 15 items. So moving on to the results, you can see that there is a significant difference in the feeling of safety and fear of crime, with um, rural areas reporting less fear of crime and um, higher, a higher feeling of safety compared to urban areas. And this in turn explains the difference in personal safety overall. However, as you can see, there's no difference in safety confidence as, pe as individuals tend to feel equally safe in terms of their ability to protect themselves. Moving on, we can also see that there is a difference in perceived police legitimacy matching objective markers of safety, such as rural areas um, tend to have higher perceptions of police legitimacy and higher perceptions of police effectiveness. To examine whether personal safety affects these perceptions, I conducted an indirect effect test using Hayes Model 4, and the results show that indeed, um, Moving from an urban to a rural area increases personal safety, which in turn increases perceived police legitimacy. So what are the takeaways? The takeaways are that in, um, objective markers of safety do match subjective perceptions of safety and that individuals living in rural areas do feel safer than individuals living in urban areas. And that in turn affects how legitimate and effective they perceive the police force, the police forces to be. So overall, these findings are useful because by implementing interventions aiming at increasing personal safety that are, that are not directly affected by the police, such as uh, implementation of new lighting methods, increased social cohesion, or increased social order in the neighborhood, that could in turn influence perceived police legitimacy and effectiveness, thus reducing um, the divide between police forces and the general public. And finally, this uh, study also provided external validity for the personal safety scale, showing that indeed um, a complex model of personal safety can um, address uh, la larger scale questions that are usually captured by objective markers. Thank you for your time.